on June 16th, 2015, in coastal Andhra Pradesh, a group of seven fishermen ventured into the sea in a small boat. The sea was rough due to the monsoon season, and a deep depression was building up. They turned back to return to the shore. At full acceleration, the engine of the boat failed, and the anchor was lost. Due to the rising waves and strong wind, food and water in the boat got washed away. With the passing of each day and night, hunger and thirst made them weak, and they lost all hopes of survival. On the seventh day, by around noon, they saw a ship at a distance. At 12:30 p.m., from the vessel M.T. Sampurna Swarajya of the Shipping Corporation of India. The second officer sighted the boatman in distress. He immediately informed the master of the ship. The master, Captain Radhika Menon, rushed to the bridge of the ship and noticed the dangerous struggle of fishermen in the rough sea. She immediately ordered an emergency operation to rescue them from the sinking fishing boat. For Captain Radhika Menon, it was a task that involved huge risks. When I saw through the binocular, I saw it was a boat without accommodation, with flush deck, a small boat, not suitable for uh, deep sea fishing. As a committed seafarer, saving lives in distress was her priority. The vessel was brought to maneuvering speed. Within five minutes, the crew formed two rescue teams, and the pilot ladder was rigged up on the starboard side, with life jackets and boys on standby. Boat was drif drifting with the bad weather in the in our opposite direction. The first time I swung the vessel and created a leak, and then the boat was brought closer, and then we gave the gantline. And before the boat could catch the gantline, she went towards the stern. So I have to stop and turn around again. Within 30 minutes of sighting the boat, the first fisherman came on board. Soon followed the second person. Then, due to hostile weather, the gant line parted. Boat was banging to the ship side, and the ship itself was going up and down. Because of that, uh, the gant line, the thick rope we had given, uh, that broke. And as soon as the line broke, the boat drifted again with great speed behind. Then the third man, uh, third round, I came again and uh, created a lee. And this time, the vessel picked up the remaining persons one by one, all in a matter of 50 minutes. Sixteen-year-old Radhika Menon from Kerala in South India, after completing her pre-university studies, wanted to take a more challenging path in life than other girls of her time. Despite initial resistance from her family, she enrolled herself for a radio officer's course. Upon completing the course, she was recruited by the Shipping Corporation of India and she became the country's first ever woman radio officer on a ship. Through sheer hard work and determination, she pursued higher studies, writing one examination after another, with the desire of becoming one day a captain in command of a ship. In 2012, the Shipping Corporation of India created yet another benchmark in women empowerment by elevating Radhika Menon as the master of one of its oil tankers. I owe a lot of my career and all my success to Shipping Corporation of India. For the fishermen who were rescued, it was like a reincarnation. In fact, after being lost at sea for seven days without food or water, they were given up for dead and their families were preparing themselves for the funeral rites. We owe a lot to the lady. We are indebted to her all our life. We thought they were dead and she bought them alive. We don't know how to thank her enough. We all had injuries. We were given first aid and proper treatment. Moreover, every half an hour, she used to come and inquire about our health. 
whether we had food and our health condition. If madam was not there, we had no chance of living. We could do nothing except wiping tears from our eyes. Madam appeared as a goddess and saved our lives. For Captain Radhika Menon and her team, the arduous task of rescuing seven lives from a sinking boat in a turbulent sea was prompted by the call of duty as a seafarer, as ingrained in the ethos of India's national flag carrier, the Shipping Corporation of India Limited. <laughs> 